One of the best projectors you can buy this year is Epson's LS12000B. That is it behind me, and that's projecting 1917 over my shoulder. More on that in a moment. There's one particular thing about how this projector puts out its light. The Epson technology is using a laser light source, but it's using a high definition panel. The high definition panel that we use has two million pixels. And each one of those pixels pivots on a horizontal and a vertical plane, which creates four individual image pixels. And those four image pixels make up the, the impression of a 4K projector. So you're getting that 4K viewing, but you're also getting the color and you're also getting the contrast. So you're getting everything. And it puts out a lot. 2,700 lumens of white brightness, the same for color too, for 20,000 hours at 100%, which isn't always needed. I spent a full day with a projector at Epson Australia HQ, playing with settings, screens and various media. So this is my review. The colour engine driving the LS12000 delivers a beautiful picture, thanks to full 10-bit colour processing and HDR10 Plus support. High dynamic range was good, but make sure that those ambient light levels are low for best performance. When it comes to SDR or standard dynamic range, the results are absolutely outstanding. Although the out-of-the-box experience is pretty good, when I visited my own YouTube channel so I know what the video is supposed to look like, the SDR content wasn't exactly how I would like it. The colour and contrast was too low. With no opportunity to calibrate professionally, I just eyeballed it. And given I was familiar with the source material, it was pretty easy. Once I got YouTube looking good, I moved on to movies via UHD disc. I've watched Godzilla vs Kong before, and this is a very colour-rich film. I felt I nailed the settings for this, and it looked amazing. The look of 1917 is very close to perfect on this projector. And at night, the colour and contrast did justice to Roger Deakins' legendary cinematography. You also have options when it comes to motion. Easily the most frustrating issue with home entertainment systems. Normally, you would likely have frame interpolation turned off for movies, but there are times when it helps, and I'm saying this as a fan of traditional 24p. You can choose from off, low, normal, and high. Take this scene in 1917. Watch the slats as the camera moves. The top frame is running with motion smoothing off. The bottom shows the same clip with maximum frame interpolation on. Here's another example. Gravity has a mixture of intense motion and slow pans. These scenes should have been synced, but I didn't have enough time to capture each setting. Looks pretty cool though, and the black levels weren't bad either. Projectors can never match what an OLED does, for example, but this is a pretty good result. Of course, when it comes to watching sport, you want smooth action. So I watched a bit of cricket from YouTube and as a big event projector, the LS12000 is definitely a winner. The inputs on the back support HDMI 2.1 so you can enjoy gaming at 120 frames per second and there's eARC for audio over HDMI. When it comes to screen size, this standard or long throw projector lights up a 50 to a massive 300 inch 16 by 9 frame. But you'll need some depth in your room, 3 to 6.3 metres for a 100 inch result on the screen. I actually found this projector can pull off a pretty good image on any screen. Even the light rejecting screen underneath, I found by accident, was pretty good. So even if you stuff it up, it works as you can see here. While this test unit was on a table at the back of the room, ideally you would hang the LS12000 from the ceiling. It's a big unit, so don't go cheap when it comes to the support bolts. This is the remote control, so pretty big. You won't be losing that. It's backlit, but only after pressing the button in the top right-hand corner. So don't be afraid to dig into the settings because there is a lot of room to move when it comes to gamma and other adjustments. That brings us to aligning the LS12000 to your chosen screen. This is where Epson makes it really easy. And this is where you discover how cool the projector really is. Say there's a light fixture in the home, 
that can't be moved, or a ceiling fan. With motorized lens shift, you can direct the projector so the light beams past it. You can save positions in memory too, so if you need to move the projector back to a previous setup, you can just recall it and it moves precisely into place. I had a lot of fun with this. I just wish I had more than a day to play with it. In summary, the Epson LS12000 is a fantastic projector. If you want a true cinematic experience at home, this will provide it. In Australia, it retails for $8,999, so it's a significant investment, but I'm sure you can knock that price down if you look around. But with the right screen, dark room, and thumping sound system, it's an investment that will give you years of viewing joy. Let me know what you think of the LS12000 in the comments below.